your boy Trucker Doc back with another video for you guys. Interesting video to say the least as well. But before we go ahead and get into that, I want all you guys to go ahead and hit that like button. Comment down below and subscribe to the channel. And also hit the notification bell to let you know when a new video is going to be made or dropped. If you want to say it that way. Um, so yeah, I mean a lot of, lot of good and fun and interesting updates to bring to you guys. Uh, if you have noticed, I have been a little bit MIA lately, and I'm gonna tell you why I've been MIA. So basically, um, I pivoted. Um, and what I mean by I pivoted, I'm no longer at Prime Inc. Um, I'm at a different company. I'm actually a company driver now, and I am also not doing refrigerated or dry van. I am a flatbed driver. So that's why I've been kind of busy the last couple of weeks, last month. Um, I had to go through the securement training and everything like that. Um, and if you guys noticed by my shirt, I am with Melvin Truck Lines. Um, based out of Tulsa, Oklahoma. I do want to let you everybody know, everybody here um, in the flatbed space, if you are looking for a great flatbed company to get into, especially if you have not done flatbed, um, come to Melton. Come to Melton Truck Lines. I'm going to put my link to the application down in the description. Go ahead and click that link. It'll take you right to the application. Fill it out. Wait for the recruiter to call you. And we can get it done, get it popping that way. Um, so I'm gonna put that down in the description box. But yeah, I am with Melton Truck Lines. Um, now you guys might ask, why did you go flatbed? Well, I went flatbed because I'm, I, I was I always wanted to try flatbed. Um, and based off of how the freight was working over at Prime, I figured this would probably be the best time to go ahead and do it. Um, so that's what I did. I applied to Melton. I got a call. I started orientation, uh, securement training. I got into my truck um, after the two-week securement training, and I've been running for the last three and a half weeks. So the truck I got is a brand new 2024 Kenworth T680 Next Generation. Um, I got the truck with 111 miles on it, and right now I'm sitting at 6,000. 378.9 miles that I've placed on this truck since I've gotten it. So I've been moving pretty steadily. Um, they've been keeping me busy, keeping me moving. So that's a great thing. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy, man. I'm, I'm loving the flatbed. At least now I'm loving it. Um, ask me again in December or January, the middle of the winter. Ask me how I like it. But for now, I like it. Um, going forward, what my plan is to kind of do is to do weekly updates for you guys um, along with pay. Uh, so those videos might be dropping on Friday or Saturday, uh, depending on whenever I make it. But I am going to make it a point to make those videos for you guys, especially new guys coming into the game that want to try flatbed and especially if you're thinking about melting um, you can kind of anticipate what you're going to be making as an OTR truck driver running said amount of miles now my my cent per mile is a little bit higher than what um, a rookie would come into uh, just based off of my three years of experience that I have I'm at the higher scale so I have six I can make 60 cents a mile here um, Melvin also pays $100 tarp pay. Now it's $50 to tarp, $50 to take off the tarp. So it all equates out to $100 to tarp. Um, so I'm going to let you guys know that. Um, I'm also probably going to do some load securement videos. Also, I'm going to be doing some um, loading and unloading vi vi videos as well. Now I haven't done it yet because the mount that I have for my GoPro um that would that i would mount either on my headache rack or my hard hat it actually broke so i have to get another one um so it might be a little bit before i actually make those videos but um we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna try to rock
rock it out as best we can. So that's really that all that I had, guys, for you guys. Just to let you guys know that I'm still here. I'm still running. Um, I'm just now in the <coughs> sorry. I'm just now in the flatbed space of trucking. So <coughs> excuse me. It's kind of like I'm a rookie all over again, learning a new side of the industry, learning how they do things, how they operate. So I'm gonna take you guys on that journey with me. And of course, I am also going to be doing my ride along videos for you guys as well. Um, my goal is to post at least four four times a week uh, for you guys, so you can get a good sense of what's going on, where I'm at in the world, um, and especially if you see me out there, especially you other flat betters, if you see me out there and um, you want to say hey, say hey. Um, easy going person to talk to, so that's all you got to do. But I'm gonna cut this video a little short. Um, I'm actually just delivered um, right down the street from this Loves that I'm at here in um, Kingsville, Texas, kind of by Corpus Christi. So I just delivered, and now I'm going to just wait for another load. I still got five hours left on my clock that I can um, that I can run with. So I'm just waiting for them to give me a load. Typically, they like to give us loads on uh, Fridays to run us through the weekend. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. I'll keep you guys updated on that as well. So, um, again, thank you guys for tuning in. If you haven't already, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. And if you feel like saying something, go ahead and comment down below. Um, I appreciate all comments, negative, good, bad, all of that. Um, and again, you guys go go check out my other social media. Go check out my um, my Instagram. Uh, go check out my TikTok at TruckerDoc92. Uh, my Instagram is at Trucker underscore Doc92. And also go like my um, Facebook page, TruckerDoc. Um, so until next time, guys, make sure you keep that rubber side down and the shiny side up.